Welcome everyone. Uh, this is uh, a slow flow 60 minute class. Um, it's focused on opening up the shoulders and releasing some tension there, which, uh, you know, in any normal time is always important to focus on those areas where we keep tension and allow them to have a chance to relax and let go and open up. Uh, particularly now is a great time to be focusing on any practice that does release tension. Um, and then we're in this specific practice we're also going to be building towards a peak pose uh, which is going to be Bird of Paradise which is one of my favorites. Um, it's a very playful uh, pose. Um, once we get there and really in any pose that we do this is your practice, so honor your body. Um, if I'm doing something that doesn't feel good for you, then just uh, back off. Um, you know, find a variation or modification that feels right for you. Be mindful of your injuries, um, and you know, if if you need to take a break and come into child's pose, um, whatever you need to do is totally fine. Um, this is really your practice to do what feels good for you. So anything that I, um, anything that I guide us through is just an offering. So with that being said, um, let's come to our seats. Ground down through the tailbone. Lengthen up through the spine and the crown of the head. Allow the shoulders to relax. Allow them to come back slightly. Take any hunch out of our backs. Hands can be at the knees or you can bring them together to rest in your lap. Close your eyes. Come back to the breath. It's the center of your life force. This is the pulse of your being. This is the steady inhale and exhale that you take every moment of every day. And allow this grounding pulse to slow and become steady and even. Mind drips, gently bring your awareness back to your breath. And notice how your shoulders and your neck feel right now. Can you feel tension in them? Allow them to re release down towards the ground a little more without pushing it. It's just a gentle relaxation. Big inhale and side out. Inhale, fill all the way up, fill the lungs, hold at the top, and side out. <sighs> One more time, inhale, and 
and sigh it out. <sighs> Open the eyes. And let's come onto our backs. Have your strap and your block handy. You've got those. Or any kind of alternative for your strap. <clears throat> and roll onto the back. Bring the knees to the chest. Hug them in tightly. And hold in the right knee, extend the left leg, hug the right knee to the chest, and bring it to a 90 degree angle. Hands clasped together, fingers interlace, bring the hands to the right hip, and begin to slowly rotate to the side. Be careful not to hit your cat. <laughs> Inhale, come up. Exhale, come over to the left, to the side. Inhale, come up. Exhale, over. Inhale, up. And exhale for the stay. If you have a block, you can rest your knee on a block. Hands are still at your hip. Bring the left hand to your knee. Right hand traces up your side to your shoulder. And now circle the elbow around. Begin to open up the shoulder. Circle in one direction. And reverse that. And reach the arm over your head behind you. Tent the fingers. And really walk those fingers back and stretch out your left foot so you're extending in either direction. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And now bring that arm, sweep it around, bring it down to your side, and then roll over onto your back, other side. Move the block to the other side. All right, bring the knee, left knee into the chest, hug it in tightly. And now bring that knee up to a 90 degree angle. Fingers are interlaced at your left hip. Inhale, exhale, bring the knee over to the right. Inhale it up, exhale over to the side. Inhale up. Exhale over, inhale up, exhale for the stay. All right, right hand to the right, left knee, left hand traces up your body, comes to your shoulder, and now roll the elbow in circles, roll out the shoulder. Other direction. And now stretch the arm over your head, reach up, and then reach through that right foot and that leg. You're extending in either direction, pulling yourself to be longer and longer. Inhale into that left rib cage, expanding the ribs. And sweep that left arm back around to your side. Bring the leg back up, back into your Shavasana position. Okay, grab your strap or whatever you have as a makeshift strap. All right. Bring the right knee in again, and we're going to wrap that strap around the ball of the foot. Extend through the foot, push through the ball of the foot, so push, push into your strap, and then while you're pulling on it with either hand. All right, from here, 
I want you to bring the leg down a little bit and now roll your pelvis so that your lower back lifts off the floor. Now keep your pelvis, this is an anterior pelvic tilt, keep that pelvic tilt and now bring the um, leg back. And notice how it's a lot harder to bring your leg further back. This is actually proper alignment right here. When you have your pelvis in a posterior tilt where your lower back comes down to the ground, you can bring the leg further back, but you're actually out of alignment. Feel that hamstring stretch. Continue to breathe deeply. Active foot on both feet. Flexion in the feet. And now grab the strap with your right hand, both ends of the strap. The left hand is going to come down to your left hip. Press it into your hip. And we're going to slowly start to bring the right leg out to the side. Just bring it out a little bit. And then inhale back to center. Exhale out to the side. Inhale to center. And exhale out for the stay. So allow to get some opening here in the right hip. This is going to help prepare us for our bird of paradise which involves a hip opener. Use that left hand to ground down through the left hip. Don't let, let the left hip rise off the floor. Pull that strap in towards your shoulder. Continue to flex both feet. Active legs. Quads are active. Hamstrings are stretching. And inhale back to center and release. Bring that leg down. You shake your hands out from all that clasping. Do some maybe flick or flicking water off your hands. Roll your wrists around. And let's do the other side. So bring that left knee to chest. Wrap the strap around the ball of the foot on the left foot. Press upwards, extend the leg. Now bring the leg down so you can come into your anterior pelvic tilt, lower back lifts off the floor. And now inhale it back up. Feel the stretch in the hamstring. Engage the breath. Mindful inhales and exhales. Now grab the strap with the left hand. Right hand comes down to the right hip. Inhale. Exhale the leg out to the side. Inhale, come up. Exhale out to the side just a little bit. Inhale, come up. And exhale out for the stay. Press the right hand down into the right hip. Don't let that roll off the ground. You're still an anterior pelvic tilt, by the way. Your lower back should be off the ground. Active feet, both feet are flexing. Pulling that strap towards your shoulder. And inhale, bring it back to center. And release. Both hands, both knees come to your chest. And let's start to roll up into a seated position. Nice job, everyone. All right, you can put the strap away. Okay, so 
Come to a kneeling position at the front of your mat. I'm going to face you. All right. We're going to work on uh, warming up and opening up those shoulders. So uh, let's do some shoulder rolls and shoulder lifts. So roll the shoulders up, hold it real tight, and release. Bring those shoulders up again. Clench, 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 clench. Release. And now so just circle them back slowly. As you bring them behind you, bring the elbows back to touch. Well, as if you could touch them. Release down. Up. Behind you. Pinch those shoulder blades together and down. Do this a few times. You can speed up the action. That feels good. And now we're going to go the other way. This time, allow the shoulders to come together in the front and the, the shoulder blades to expand outwards. Continue to engage the breath. Nice. All right. Let that go. And uh, from here, we're going to bring the arms out to other, either side, and we're going to have our fingers in, but our thumbs pointing up, and we're going to start making little circles with the, with the hands. Just small circles. We're warming up the shoulder muscles here. Keep this going. We're still going in one direction. Okay, now reverse it. Building some heat. Nice job. Building more heat. <laughs> Try to keep those shoulders up. Try not to, to rest them unless, unless you're feeling any kind of pain. All right, keep, now release the, don't release the shoulders, but keep, extend those arms out. And now we're gonna bring the hands up and the thumbs to touch, and then come back to our T position. Up, release. Inhale up, exhale release. Inhale up, exhale release. Start to go at your own pace. You can quicken this. Breathe through the nostrils. You can use your breath of fire here if you want. Breath of fire has a really strong exhale out through the nose. I feel be feeling a good burn here. All right, bring it back to a T. Bring those shoulders out in front of you. Bring clasp the hands together, and then bring uh, bring it so that your wrists are flexing. Got the fingers extended out in front of you, and now inhale, come up. Oh yeah. Bring it up, up, up as if you're reaching behind you. And release that down. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, bring the hands to clasp behind you. And then stretch those arms down towards the ground. This should feel really nice on the shoulders that just did some work. As if you can reach your knuckles down towards your feet. You can look up slightly for this. Chest comes forward, slight back bend. Engage 
engage the breath and release that. All right, let's just wiggle the shoulders a little bit here. <laughs> All right, and we've got a nice neck stretch, so bring that right arm up and overhead to touch the left cheek. Left arm reaches out to the side, maybe slightly behind. And then start to press through the left cheek for a neck and shoulder stretch. The more you reach with that left hand, the more deeper stretch you'll get through, through the neck and the traps. All right, keep the neck in position, bring that right hand over now to the right cheek, and then use that hand to lift your neck back up into center. All right, other side. Left arm reaches up overhead, comes to the right cheek, right hand reaches out, and slowly press on that right cheek. Really extend through the, the right arm to get a deeper stretch into the neck. All right, bring that left hand up over to the left cheek. Press the neck up. Let's do some shoulder rolls again. And other way. And now let's come into a child's pose. So scoop back on your mat, knees go wide, feet are together, come back, and arms are stretched out in front. And now thread the right arm underneath the left, palm facing up, allow the shoulder to rest on the ground and then your right cheek comes down to the ground. Inhale, come back up, other side. Thread the left arm through. Left cheek comes to the floor. And unwind that. All right, let's uh, tuck the toes, press the feet, the hands down into the mat, spread the fingers wide, press through the underside of the knuckles. Toes are tucked, lift the hips up, knees come up, downward facing dog. Feel the stretch through the calves, press through the hands to get into a deeper shoulder stretch here. The back of the shoulders is where you feel it. Inhale, left foot rises, and exhale, bring it through in between the hands. Bring the right knee down to the ground into our low lunge. Bring those hands up to your knee, and press through the knee with your hands, and lean forward. You want the right hip to stay square. You don't want it splaying out to the side. So keep that right hip forward. The left hip comes back. So your hips are squared to the front. If you had headlights on your hip bones, your headlights would be pointing forward. You could use a slight back bend here. If you want to lift the arms, you can. And bring those hands down to frame the foot and stretch back into a half split. You want to have a flexed uh, foot here in the front. Now be careful of rounding the spine so you're not trying to touch your forehead to your knee. Keep the spine nice and long, 
hips come back and you'll feel that stretch in your hamstring. Nice. Alright, come forward, frame those hands in between the feet, tuck the toes in the back, knee lifts off the ground, now bring that heel down to the ground, your, your foot should be in the back, should be at a 45 degree angle, nice long spine, we're prepping ourselves for warrior one, knee is directly over the ankle, you never want the knee to be forward of the ankle, you want to protect your knee here. All right, inhale, come up. Warrior one. Left foot is forward on this. Hi, kitty. All right, big inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, allow them to come back behind you. Clasp the hands behind you. Reach the hands down, down, down. Big chest opener here. Inhale. And exhale with a long spine. Keep the spine integrated here. Start to hinge at the hips forward. If you can bring that left uh, shoulder to touch the left knee, you can. Start to rise the hands off the hips to come behind you. Humble warrior. This is a really wonderful shoulder opener. There's probably heat building in that left quad. Just enjoy the different sensations. Stay present with your breath. And rise back up. And then windmill the arms open into a warrior two. Now the hips are coming towards the side. So if you had, again, headlights on those hip bones, they would now be uh, shining straight out to a 90 degree angle. Arms are out wide. So before you turn your, your head to look over at your left shoulder, make sure that you're in good alignment here. You should have your... Uh, heel lining up with the middle uh, of your back foot. Knee, again, is not going further than the ankle. And make sure you can see your big toe on the left side. Now let's bring our gaze over our left hand. And reverse the warrior. Left arm rises up. And this isn't a cranking motion. You're not trying to go super far back. It's just a stretching and opening through the left side. Don't crank the neck all the way back either. You want to have a nice long neck. And we're going to release down into side angle. So the uh, allow the elbow to connect with the knee. Right arm rises up. Can bring the arm overhead. That'll give you a deeper stretch on the right side. Left leg's probably burning. Stay with it. Breathe deeply. Inhale that right arm up and overhead and behind you. If you can wrap, if you want to wrap that uh, right hand around your left thigh, you can. Eventually, this is going to lead us towards getting into a bind. We're just in a half bind here. All right, bring the arms up. Come back up into your warrior two. Now you can ah, straighten that front leg. Yes. <laughs> and let's uh, bring ourselves into Tadasana, the front of our mats. Now bring the uh, feet wide to the edges of your mat, turn the toes out, and come down into a Malasana spot. If you need a block, you can sit on your block or whatever objects you have lying around that are handy. Alright, 
We're going to open up the shoulders here. So left arm comes down to the ground. Right arm lifts up. We're going to twist to the right side. Look up towards that right hand. Continue to engage your deep breathing through the nose. And release it down, other side. And release. All right, come back up to standing. Mm. Into your Tadasana. All right, hands come to heart center. Lift that left leg up and start to reach it behind you into a lunge. So your right foot is forward. And then come down, hands frame the foot, knee comes down to the ground, low lunge on your right side. Square the hips, right hip back, left hip forward. Deep breaths here. If you want to rise the hands up above, you can go for that option. Extend back into our half split. Walk the hands back. See if you can get your, your spine into a good alignment. Nice long spine here. Imagine that there's a thread that's pulling out of your head and pulling you nice and straight. Flex that front foot. And then if you have more to go, you can walk forward. Don't let the spine round though. Keep the spine integrated. These hamstring stretches are going to be really key for that bird of paradise. We want to have open shoulders, stretch out, you know, warmed up hamstrings, and warmed up and open hips for that peak pose. All right, come back forward. Frame the foot with your hands. Tuck the toes. Lift up. Drop your heel back, we're coming into our warrior one. Nice long spine, hips are starting to square forward, and slowly lift up, warrior one. Check your alignment here. You should be able to see your right big toe. Is your knee behind or over your ankle? Try to square the hips forward. Deep breaths. Inhale. Everything extends through the spine and the arms. Exhale, drop the arms behind you. Clasp the hands together and reach those hands down and back. Drawing down your thigh. Nice chest opener here. And you know where we're going. Now we're coming into Humble Warrior. Keep that long spine, hinge at the hips. Come forward. And then you can allow the hands to start to rise up off the hips and come behind you. Allow the head to drop here. And just relax the neck. Humble Warrior. Breathe deeply. There's probably a lot going on in that right leg. <laughs> Some heat building. All right, start to come up. Rise back up and then open up into your warrior two. Continue 
Continue to breathe deeply. Allow your breath to bring you through any intense sensations. Stay present. Reverse your warrior. Palm flips up on the right hand and bring that up. Left hand can rest behind you or it can come to the right hip, whichever you prefer. Open up through this right side rib cage. Feel the stretch in those intercostal muscles that are in between the ribs. Inhale and exhale, bring it over to side angle. Elbow touches the knee. Inhale, left arm up. You can bring the left arm over the ear if you'd like. Come back into your breath. And now into the half bind. Left arm sweeps around and comes behind you. You can wrap it around the, the thigh if you'd like, or it can just hang behind, that's fine. Open up through that left shoulder. Allow the gaze to come upwards if, uh, to look up at the sky if you want a bit of a challenge. See if you can take some of your weight off of your, off of your elbow. If you're dumping down into that shoulder like this, <laughs> that's not great for the spine. Keep nice length and space in between your shoulder and your neck. Release the half bind. Come back up into your warrior two. Extend the leg. Oh yeah, feel that joy. <laughs> and we're going to come into Tadasana up the front of our mat. Come back into our Malasana. Mm, into our squat. Alright, this time when we come into our twist in Malasana, you have the option to bind if you'd like. So I'll face you so you can see what this looks like. So first we're going to open up like we did before. Left arm comes down to the ground, right arm reaches up. Look upwards towards that right arm. Now if you'd like to, and this feels good, you can wrap that left arm behind the knee and right arm drops behind you and see if you can clasp your hands together. This is the full bind. If that doesn't feel good, just come back to the big open stretch version of this. The arms extended. Now at some point in the future, if anyone ever wants to try this, it's fun to try to come to standing in this bind where you stand on that right leg and your, your arms are still wrapped around the left knee. That's a fun one, but we're not doing that today. <laughs> Alright, slowly release that. We're going to come into the other side. Right hand comes down to the ground. Left arm lifts up. First we're going to open up. And then if you want to come into the bind, you have that option. This is a similar type of bind that you'll be in when, uh, when we're doing our Bird of Paradise. So again, opening up through the shoulders. And release that. And we're going to come to a seated position into Dandasana, or staff pose. <clears throat> Hands come behind you. And it's your option here, yogi's choice, if you want to do a reverse plank or a reverse tabletop. So a reverse plank would be bringing the hands behind you and lifting straight up. To, uh, the bottoms of the feet try to come down towards the ground. If you prefer a reverse tabletop, you can bring the knees, uh, flex the knees, and then push up. Whichever one you prefer. Really press down through the ribs.
wrists. If it feels better to come up onto your fists, if you have wrist issues, you can do that. You can let the head hang if you prefer. You might feel some real opening through the shoulders in this. And release that down. Nice job. <clears throat> All right. We're going to come into a forward fold. Flex the feet. Spine is nice and tall. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, bring the hands down either to the, the shins. Perhaps you can bring the hands to your feet. Another hamstring stretch here. Continue to breathe deeply. Come back to the breath. See if you can, rather than rounding the, the spine, again, keep the length in the spine and see if you can bring the top of your head closer towards your feet. So you're actually pulling yourself forwards. All right, bring the hands to either side and then use your hands to walk yourself back up. It's really important to be careful when you're coming out of forward folds that you don't just jerk up using the lower back muscles because that's a really easy way to injure yourself. So doing that walking yourself up is a great way to protect your low back. All right, let's do the same thing but in a wide-legged version. I'm going to turn around so I have room. So we're going we're gonna to open up through the hips. Flex through the heels. And to get into this deeper, you can bring your hands behind you and then use them to push the hips forward. And that will get you into a deeper uh, split, essentially. All right, again, long spine. You can use the hands behind you to lengthen through the spine. Now we can bring the hands in front and start to walk them forward. Keep the spine nice and long, so that's okay if that means you aren't going down deeply. This isn't about getting into any one pose like a pretzel or being super flexible. It's just about bringing breath, some stretching and movement into the body. It's a moving meditation, so wherever you're at, it's perfect. You know, we live in a society where we're very much driven by competition um, and we compete with ourselves. You know, we want to be the best, we push ourselves really hard, and yoga is the space where this is actually not about the ego, it's not about doing the best that you can do, it's just about being in the moment where you're at, connecting your mind and your body and your spirit, and just observing where you're at, how things feel, what's coming into your mind, bringing yourself to your breath, the center of your life force, and it doesn't matter if you can get into that pose or if you fall out of a pose, that's not what's important. coming back into yourself. Use these asanas, these poses, to come back into yourself. Find your grounding. All right, walk the hands back up bring you to upright position, and we're going to bend through those knees, the feet are going to come together into Baddha Konasana. Another great hip opener here, long spine, hold on to the feet, lean forward. This is one of my favorite, favorite poses. 
when I was a kid, our ballet teacher used to have us do this, and she'd call it butterfly pose, and we'd flap our little knees like butterflies. Just one of those childhood memories that stuck <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> Use your hands to bring the knees together. And then we're going to uh, cross the legs, come forward into a tabletop, and then into your down dog. Push down through the palms of the hands. Take the pressure off of your wrists. So you really should feel the underside of your knuckles connecting to the ground, connecting to your mat. Fingers are spread wide. There's not pressure on your wrists here. And that's going to push the shoulders back into a deeper stretch. Inhale, left leg comes up. And exhale, bring it in between the hands. All right. The, uh, Foot comes down, we're coming into warrior two. Windmill those arms up into your warrior two. Come into alignment. Bring everything to the side. Make sure your shoulders are in alignment with the hips. Everything's facing to the side. Now you can bring your gaze over to the left. People often commonly bring their shoulders towards the front because they're looking towards the front and then they bring everything out of alignment. So that's why I want you to first align yourself to the side and then the only thing that turns is your head. So try to do that every time you come into a warrior two. Okay, reverse the warrior. Inhale, exhale, come into your side angle. See if maybe you can drop the hand down. If you've got a block handy, you can bring your hand to a block or down to the floor, or you can leave your hand, your elbow on your knee. All right, right hand comes behind you. You can stay in this half bind. You have an option to come into your full bind. For the full bind, you bring that left arm underneath, and then it starts to come up behind you. See if you can get those uh, hands to clasp together. You might be feeling a lot here in your left thigh. Okay, once you have the bind, roll the right shoulder open. And can you bring the gaze up towards the sky? If you need a little bit of a break in that thigh, it's a little bit more of an intense stretch, but you can extend through that knee in the front. And then come back into a flexed knee. See if you can, instead of, you know, kind of slumping into it again, keep length in your spine. Hey, baby. <laughs> All right, release the arms, frame the foot, and turn your heel back. Walk the foot forward a bit. We're coming into pyramid here. All right, inhale, long spine. Exhale. Hamstring stretch galore. <laughs> Hips are squared towards the front. All right, bring those hands down to the ground and back into your down dog. All right, same thing, other side. Inhale, right leg comes up. Exhale, bring knee to chest. Plant the foot in between your feet. Your heel comes down. Foot should be at a 45 degree angle. Windmill those arms up. And now you can actually foot, sorry, is at the 90 degree angle. All right, get everything squared towards the side of the room, side of the mat. Now you can look over your left hand. Warrior two. 
All right, flip the palm up on the right and bring it to reverse. Inhale, exhale into your side angle. Hold here for a breath. And see if maybe you can release that right hand down towards the ground. Come into your half bind or try for the full bind. Again, once you get into that bind, now focus on lengthening the spine. Imagine that thread is being pulled from the top of your head. It's pulling the spine long. Neck is long. It's a lot of work here on the, on the right thigh, those quads. Breathe into this fire, into the sensation. Open up that left shoulder, roll it up towards the sky. Maybe you can look and bring your gaze up to the sky. And now release the hands down to frame that right foot. Peel the uh, heel up, come into your pyramid pose, walk in your stance to be a little bit shorter so that your heel can come down towards the ground. Inhale, and if you want, you can have, you know, if you've got blocks handy, of course, this is why I love blocks. They're really great assists. So, you know, having blocks here feels awesome. Square those hips, so right hip comes back, left hip comes forward. Long spine. So you can come up to get the length in the spine first, and then come back down into uh, where your boundary is in this pose. So your boundary in any kind of stretching pose, you know, you should feel the stretch, but you don't want to be going into it so deeply that you're going to be tearing any muscles or, you know, overstretching. So again, yoga is not about pushing yourself to your max. That's what PX90 is for. <laughs> it's about, you know, there is some challenge in there, getting a bit outside of your comfort zone, but it's also about self-care. Let go of the ego, let go of your own expectations, and just let yourself be right where you're at, right now. Let go of your self-judgments. Just observe the sensations. Again, awareness is always coming back to the breath. Awesome. Now we're going to come forward into a forward fold. Hands are, uh, feet are hip width apart. Clasp the elbows, opposite elbows, and you can just sway around here. All right, release. Hands come to the hip. Come into a flat back, halfway lift. Now I want you to bring your weight back into your heels. Hips go back, long spine here. Now press through the heels. Make the, allow the heels to bring you forward. Back stays nice and long and integrated. Press, 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 press. Rise up. It's a game changer right there. You're using your legs to bring you up rather than your low back. Okay. <laughs> so next up is eagle. So this is a balancing pose. Um, I'm going to stay facing this way because we're going to go from eagle straight into a warrior two. So I can't do that if I'm facing you. <clears throat> so first uh, we're going to bring our weight slowly over to our left side. Also, drishti, your gaze, find something in front of you to fix your gaze upon. This is a balancing pose. Begin to bring the right leg up. And start to squat into the left leg and see if you can wrap the right leg around. You might be able to wrap the foot all the way around the ankle. If not, that's okay. 
Arms extend out to either side. And now right arm wraps underneath the left arm. Maybe you can clasp the hands together. Can you deepen that squat? See if you can extend your elbows out in front of you, 90 degree angle with those arms, and you'll feel a stretch in between the shoulder blades. Nice job. All right, unwrap the arms, come to either side, unwrap the legs. See if you can still, with one on your balancing leg, bring the leg behind you, start to hinge forward, almost like you're coming into warrior three, but we're gonna bend on that standing leg and come back into our warrior two. Nice job, everybody. <laughs> I love playing with those transitions. All right, guys. We're here, we're coming to our bird of paradise. If you want a little bit of a release on that, that leg, let's actually uh, extend that standing leg. Just give it a little bit of a release. All right, coming back into our warrior two, leaning over into a side angle. All right, first up is the full bind. I'm going to do it slowly and steadily. All right, now we get to balance on our right leg. So first, what I want you to do is to bring the gaze down to your, down to your mat. All right, look back at your right foot and start to inch it forward, walk it forward. Okay, walk it now. So now I want you to shift your weight onto that right foot. Okay, from here, we're going to start to lift the gaze and we're just going to play with our balance. So if, if it's really just about seeing if you can lift your foot off the ground, that's fine. That's a great place to just stay and play with that. If you can't get into the bind here, just be in the half bind and try, try doing this in the half bind. All right, if you're ready to come up, into your full bird of paradise. I'm gonna face you guys. Slow and steady. If you fall out of it, again, come back into it, slow and steady. Start to rise yourself up. Gaze comes up. Once you get into full standing, that's when you can start to extend the leg. Nice job. All right, slowly see if you can come back down just as much grace. Whoop. Awesome. All right, if you're still in the bind, walk that foot back, coming back into our side angle pose. Open up and release those hands down. Nice job. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, come back into our forward fold. Mm, good job, guys. And sway here. <clears throat> All right, you ready for the other side? Okay, hands come to your hips. Your spine lengthens into a halfway lift. Bring the weight over to your heels. You should be able to lift your toes up and wiggle them. All right, long, long spine, press through the heels. You'll feel that engagement in your hips and your quads. Press, press, press through the heels. Press yourself up standing. Nice job now. I don't know about you, but I need a quick water break. So feel free to grab some water before we go into the second side. Definitely build some heat. <clears throat> okay, sorry, this class is going long. My bad. <laughs> At some point, I'll, I'll be better about figuring out 
creating these sequences and how long they actually take. Okay, <coughs> other side, because so we definitely want to be balanced out and get both sides. Alright, so we're going to go into our eagle standing on our right leg. So first, ground yourself through Tadasana, weight should be in the front of the heels, long spine, the anterior pelvic tilt, so your it's almost like your booty is sticking out a little bit. All right, weight slowly comes into the right side. Have your drishti fixed on some point in front of you. Begin to bend through the left knee. Play with bringing those toes off the ground. All right, knee comes up into 90 degrees and begin to bend through the right leg. See if you can wrap your foot or your leg around into your little pretzel eagle position. Arms come out to either side. And now left arm comes underneath right arm. Twist those around. All right, lift the elbows up so you're 90 degrees. And then press the elbows out in front of you. Open up those muscles that are in between the shoulder blades. Breathe here. Find your grounding, sense of being centered. If you fall out, it's okay. Just slowly and mindfully come back in. All right, unwind the arms. We're going to come into our warrior two. Slowly unwind the little foot. See if you can stay standing. Challenge yourself in that balance. Hinge forward at the hips. And lunge back into your warrior two. Awesome. <clears throat> and again, falling out of these poses when you're balancing, just a normal part of yoga. Don't feel bad about it. All right, we're in our warrior two. Let's just release, lengthen up through here. Give ourselves a little rest before we come into our bird of paradise. All right, back into warrior two. And down into your side angle. Walk that left foot forward. I'm going to turn around. All right. Now, lengthen the spine, feel firmly rooted in your left foot, start to play with the balance. Can you bring those right toes off the ground? If you can, see if you can start to slowly stand. Again, wait till you feel grounded before you try to come all the way up. Rising up. Once you're up and you're fully rooted, then you can extend the leg. Come back to your breath. And when you're ready, slowly come back down. Awesome. Come back to your side angle. And release the arms down in front of you. Oh yeah. It's coming to our down dog. Mm. Three breaths here. Slow and deep. And now let's come down to a child's pose. Knees come to the ground. Open up the knees. Feet come together. And down into your child's pose.
Continue to breathe deeply. And just notice how you feel. If you want, you can bring the arms behind you for embryo. Slowly push yourself up with your hands and bring the legs out in front of you for Dandasana or Staff Pose. <coughs> okay, we're here. We're in our cool down. Just a few more poses and then we'll be in blissful Shavasana. Alright, tall spine here. You can use the hands to press down to bring that length through the spine. Feet are flexed. Parivrita Mari Charasana. I'm saying it wrong. <laughs> You'll see. All right, so bring the left, uh, sorry, right foot in. Cross it over the left leg. Foot is still flexed on the left side. Walk your hands over to the right. If you want to um, use your left elbow to hook to that right knee, you can for the twist. Mm. Inhale, grow the spine tall. Exhale, twist to the right. Marichiasana. That's it. Paravrita Marichiasana. release that. Bring the leg out in front of you. Other side. Left leg crosses over the right. Bring yourself over to the left side. You can hook that right elbow to the knee. Long spine, nice and tall. I like to always extend the spine on the inhale and then twist a little bit more on the exhale. Lengthen the spine, inhale, exhale, twist a little bit more. And release that. All right, we're going to lay back. Oh. All right. From here, we're going to come into our bridge. So bring the uh, pelvic, the pelvis into an anterior tilt. So the lower back lifts off the floor. You can use your hands to press down. Hips come rise off the floor. And release it down. Inhale, hips come up. Exhale down. Inhale back up. And stay. If you want to go deeper, you can clasp the hands and walk the shoulders underneath. Press through the heels. And slowly release that. Bring the knees into the chest. Hug them in. Maybe roll around from either side to either side. If 
you want to do a happy baby here, you can. Whatever feels good right now. One last stretch here. Yogi's choice. And now release the legs out in front of you. Into our final shavasana. I'm going to rest here for a few minutes. Breath begins to come back into its normal cycles. It's not as deep, it's just quiet and smooth. Feel the weight of your body sink down into the ground. Feel the ground support you. Start to come back. Feel the parts of your body that are resting on the ground. Start to wiggle the fingers and toes. Deepen your breathing. Bring more energy back into the body. overhead and stretch in either direction like when you see a cat stretching in the sunlight. Bring the knees into a bent position and roll over onto one side into your fetal position. Keeping the eyes closed, push yourself up into a seated position to close our practice.
grows long once again. back to the breath. Om Triambakam Najamahe Suvandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urva Rukami Vardhanam Mrityor Mukshiyamam Ritat Om Triambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urva Rukami Vardhanam Mrityor Mukshiyamam Ritat Om Triambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urva Rukami Vapandhanam Mrityor Mukshiyam Amritat It's a healing chant for anyone in this moment, in this world. It's sick or dying. It's a chance to move them through that energy, transition them into whatever the next phase in their journey is with peace and love and strength. Let's inhale together for one collective ohm to seal our practice. Big inhale and sigh it out. Inhale and release. <sighs> inhale for Om. Thanks, guys. Hi, baby. <laughs> this is Loki. <laughs>